I just woke up. It's Monday, 16th of September. Let's get on with this week. My wife just replied to my first message of the day. I said, morning, you beautiful baby girl. So that's the kind of guy I am. What have you bought? Honestly, I have squirrels in my loft. My lovely neighbor, Matt, is about to have a little peek inside and see if there are squirrels and how many there are so that we can come and get a professional removal company to come and take them away. Here he comes, brave adventurer, Matt. Hey, Matt. Hello. It's Monday weigh-in. Let's see how we go. 17, two and a quarter. As I do pretty much every Monday afternoon, I'm off to meet my wife for coffee. Let's talk about weight loss. Last week's beginning weight was 17 stone 13. Today's weight, 17 stone two. I, had, I was down to 16, 12. But obviously yesterday I had a pretty bad cheat day and put four pounds back on, but that's okay. We're waiting for my wife to come out of work. Here she is. Townhouse coffee and brew bar. It's getting a lot One of the things I love about living in Preston is how normal it is. I'm loving this album at the moment from Sam Fender. After getting the vinyl, I went back and bought the CD to listen to in the car. Here we go then. First gig of the week. Barrack upon Tweed. Something occurred to me today. We're in the coffee shop. Someone got their, got their tea. It didn't have any sugar in. They took a sip and they reacted like, oh, there's no sugar in this. Like it was gross, but it was only a tiny bit different, surely, from what they usually drink. I've had food before. It's been a little bit too salty. And I go, ah, oh, this is a little salty. In my head, I don't even say it out loud. When it's tea or coffee, people react like they can't handle it. Oh, too sweet. Yeah. Oh, have you put sugar in this? Jesus, just drink it and shut up. There might be nothing here, but the nothing is beautiful. Berwick Holiday Park. This is Christy. Have a go. I set off with just enough fuel to get to the gig and then to a petrol station. The A1 was closed, so I had to get diverted through all these little towns. Range is on zero, flashing on the fuel. That was tense. I'm awake in what was once my childhood bedroom. You get to meet my mum today, that'll be fun. Today is Tuesday, this is my mum. Hello. My mum who drives maybe 5,000 miles a year consistently criticizes me who drives 45,000 miles a year. It's nice, isn't it? Yes, when he goes too fast. I don't go too fast. You do. Don't say that on the internet. <laughs> Get me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, she criticizes everyone else's driving as well. Why me? <laughs> so today we'll go to Shildon, which is one of the towns I grew up in. This is the street that I lived in when I was a little kid. I used to jump off this wall, and I remember when I'd jump off the wall, I thought it was the highest thing ever, and I was terrified. That's the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna do it now. Here I go. <laughs> Geronimo. Bye, Mum. You gonna wave? <laughs> the Haggerston Castle. Hello, everybody! Hi. The dressing room action. Welcome back, Mark. I won't be drinking those, but it's nice of them to offer. Well, one thing I don't like is when they let fans in the dressing room. Let's go! You feel that went, Tom? Everyone ganged up on me. When you're a kid, you always hope to get mail. You're an adult, you wish that you didn't get mail. Yes, no mail. Woohoo, no mail. Damn it. Sad story time. Cue the sad music. Perfect. So I lost my GoPro. Let me say that again. I lost my GoPro. Here's what happened. After I said goodbye to my mom, I put down the GoPro on top of the car to take off my jacket because it was warm. I then forgot that I put the GoPro on the top of the car like an idiot. I started driving. I made it all the way to the motorway and I looked on the seat next to me where I often keep the, uh, keep the GoPro and it wasn't there and then it wasn't in the holder here where it always is. And I thought, where could it be? So I called my mom. I said, mom, can you look on the kitchen table? She said, you're definitely left with it. Then it hit me. I realized it had gone flying down the motorway. And then it was gone. I lost my GoPro. Arriving, Craig Tara. Job number one, set up the stuff. Hannah has discovered how they make the noise of the blasters in Star Wars. Andy King. <laughs> Josh is hula hooping. Hello. We're heading to the show. Yeah. Let's do it. Please hold your applause. 
Seriously, seven for the orange. Look at that. Two in a row. Thank you. Thank hey, Georgie. No, I'm kidding. Right, here we go. <laughs> but I am, of course, only using three boxes at the moment. It's Friday morning. Just got a delivery. Hello. Now we're walking home from school. How was school, dude? Great. What was your favorite thing that happened today? Your favorite thing was lunch? Yes, lunch. <laughs> oh, he's taking off. <laughs> it's Friday night. We're off to a show. You happy to be coming to a show with me? Yeah. I love you, dude. I love you, too. Alexa, turn off the dining room lights. You sleep the whole way home. Yes. Is the show turd? What the? It's Saturday. I'm about to get a shower. But first, let's find out what my family are up to. Winnie's the poo. Winnie's the poo? Winnie's the poo. <laughs> you feeling good? No. My wife is off work today because she is ill. And she is in bed. How can she be in bed? She's right there. That's Winnie the poo. Just chilling out before I go to... Just chilling out before... Mm -hmm. Quick story about last night's drive. Driving to the show, one of my lights went out, one of my front-facing lights, and I got it replaced today, uh, as you'll see right here. Now I'm getting the uh, lights changed with the help of the lovely Dana. Hey, Dana. Hey. But anyway, and for us, like, 40 minutes of the drive, I'm thinking, gosh, my lights are so dim. And I walk into the venue, the entertainment manager says to me, all right, Elvis, he says, you always wear sunglasses indoors, and I forgot that I was wearing these. And I suddenly realized what an idiot I'd been. I'd been driving in the dark with sunglasses on. <laughs> I'm a moron. Scotland, here we come. Yes, made it. Alexa, turn on the bedroom lights. Good morning, world. Today is Sunday. You all know what's coming. Pow! I have a pretty strict policy on doing nothing on Sundays, but today's different. I've got one week until I have a big meeting about the Chroma Pier Christmas show. I really wanted to hit a certain weight goal. As you'll know, I started the week 17-2. So close now to the goal, as you will now see from this morning's weigh-in. 16 and a half, right on plan. One week. All they've got to do is get down to 16 stone for next Sunday. Just done a quick 12,000 step walk. I'm on the way home. It's almost over. I love walking. Rainy day Morrisons. I've got a little event happening at my house tonight. Some douchebag turns up early. Three hours early. I did a gig round corner. Come on in. This little building is in our garden. I've turned it into a little mini theatre. But I can't tell you what's happening because it's a secret. A lot of strange people in my house. I just finished tidying up the kitchen. It's now 3.25 a.m. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. I'll be back next Monday. Like, share, comment. Thanks, folks.